Right, I posted here. I only did one last week, but I thought, well, I'll do another one. I've got enough stuff, and you seem to like them, so do another one. I went, um, I went to a local forest uh, a few days ago. I try and go once a week, you know, for, to get some exercise on my bike and whatever. Uh, I've got bites all over me, and I've got a huge big swelling here. A huge big swelling. It's quite painful as well. Have you seen how red it is? Big lump. It feels so weird. Yeah, big red lump. Apparently it was done by something called a horse fly. Uh, no, not a horse fly, a deer fly, which is part of a horse fly family. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So, um, I've got six items randomly selected. Uh, let's see what we've got. First item. I think I'm going to zoom in a bit more as well. Hang on. Yeah. What's that little thing in there? Anyway, um, MCP4725. And what's that? <coughs> MCP4725. Uh, I can tell that it's made by a company called Microchip. And 4725, I don't know what that is. But it's got an out, so it's most likely a sensor. Um, ground, serial clock, SDA, so it's I2C. So it's some sort of sensor. What sort of sensor would that be? I2C pull-ups. <clears throat> yeah, so some sort of sensor. I don't know what that is, but we'll find out. Um, put that in there, so that's the first item. What's next? We've got um, a kit. Let me zoom out a bit now. A kit. I might guess by looking at the components that it's a radio. That's some sort of... Oh, that's solid. That's really solid. Anyway, that looks like some sort of antenna. We've got a PCB. What's on the PCB? A microphone. 500k potentiometer. Uh, capacitor. And a couple of other components. Let's have, a look at, let's have a look at this bag instead. If I hold this up to the camera, it might be better. So we've got, I can see, coils, a capacitor, the potentiometer, microphone. A couple of resistors. Uh, a couple of little ceramic capacitors. And a transistor, is that? S... 9014 and what's the other one? Yep, two transistors, so some sort of, well, don't know what it is actually, some sort of voice uh, thing, some sort of recording thing or maybe a radio. What's this say? Does this say anything interesting? Well, it's all in Chinese. Oh, yeah, the whole thing is in Chinese. Let me just zoom out a bit more. <coughs> the whole thing is in Chinese. <clears throat> but there's a component list which is fairly uh, internationally accepted if you like and more importantly there's a, a schematic which um, actually we won't need because it's drawn onto the silk mask or whatever it's called so yeah I don't know what that is either it's some sort of radio, we'll find out <clears throat> let's put that back in yeah, I'm betting that it's a radio. What should we go for next? Uh, let's go for this. Oh, what's this? Let's zoom in again. This is some sort of power power module. XL. Oops. XL four zero one five. And there's an in and an out as usual. Uh, the thing is a heat sink. Let me zoom in a bit more. Yeah, the thing's got a heat sink, which is a sign that it's likely to do an amount of amperage. Uh, it's got quite a big diode, SS54 diode, a coil potentiometer, capacitor, um, 220, is that 220, I don't know, microfarads maybe? Um, 50 volts and 50 volts out. So, it looks like this might be a book boost converter. Um, if it was a, a book converter, the chances are the in would have a high volt, a high voltage uh, capacitor there and low there. And if it was a boost converter, the chances are it'd have low there and high there. So with it having 50 volts on both, I'm thinking it might be book boost. In other words, it can lower voltage and um, make voltage higher. So that's where I think that is, but we'll we'll see. 
it would be good to look at the chip, uh, you know, see what chip it is, but because it's got the heatsink on it, I can't do that. Anyway, so that's the third item. What's fourth? What's this thing? It is... <coughs> I don't know, what is that? There's a chip, it says... 063AC, made by ST. A potentiometer, which is a 10K potentiometer. I can tell it's 10K because it says 103. So one zero and then three zeros. And what's that in there? Some sort of inductor, I think. <coughs> so, VIN ground out. VIN ground out. Right, so again, I don't know what that is either, but we'll, we'll have to find out. I'm not doing very well here, am I? So we'll have to find out. Fifth item. Ah, right, I know what this is straight away. This is a level shifter. So, you know, um, sometimes I work with uh, ESP32 and um, Arduino. Um, for most Arduinos, although, although it's not exclusive, most of them are 5 volts. And um, the ESP32s are all 3.3 volts. So, with this little uh, level shifter here, you can get the higher voltage one here and the lower voltage one there. So if you had a 5 volt signal, like a serial or something like that, and you wanted to send it from the Arduino to the ESP32, you could send the, seri the uh, signal pin to HV1, and then the um, ESP32 pin that's supposed to be the receiver, you would put to low voltage 1, and this would, um, would properly step it down and up for you. I assume it's down and up. Uh, yeah. Oh, hang on, why has it got two grounds? Oh no, look, high voltage, low voltage. So yeah, you'd power it with 5 volts and you power this one with 3.3 volts and connect the grounds. Um, and yeah, that's what it does. It's uh, It will convert voltages from high to low. So yeah, you can use it for signal uh, stuff. And that's what that is. So it's a one more item. And what's this? MOSFETs or something. Let's have a look. It is, um, what does it say? L7912CV. What is that? I've never heard of it. It's made by ST. Um, what is that? I don't know what that is either. Uh, it looks like a transistor or a MOSFET, but, I mean, but then you get all sorts of things in this form, so I don't know. Uh, so, let's... Um, Let's go to the computer and find out what all this stuff is. Okay, so here's the first item. Uh, they're in no particular order, but anyway. DC 1.5 volts to 9 volts, wireless microphone DIY electronic learning kit, blah blah blah. From Ali Module 99P. So this thing here, from the title, I can, I can see that the idea is that it's a learning kit. And it seems to be that you talk in the microphone, you get your radio, and you set your radio to be a certain frequency, and you should be able to hear yourself speaking. That's where I think it is. Um, I'm not going to read through all that in here, uh, on this video. But yeah, I think that's what it is. So yeah, Ali Module 99P. Next item is Firebamp XL4015 Step Down Adjustable Power Supply. one pound fifteen. And this is the important stuff here. So obviously it's a book converter. 38 volts in. Uh, well, 4 to 38 volts in. And 1.25 to 36 out. Uh, 0 to 5 amps, which I'm not sure if I believe that. Because often these are not 5 amps at all. It's more like 1 or 2 or something like that. But anyway, pound fifteen from Cayenne 35. And the next, next item is... Um, a DAC breakout development board, which is DAC, a digital analog converter breakout board, and it's 12 bit resolution, which is a pretty good resolution. The Arduino has a 10 bit res uh, resolution, which is to 1024 counts, so 11 bits would be 2048, and 12 bits would be 4096, so it's some nice resolution. But I can't think of a reason why you'd want a digital to analog converter, but that's just me. Um, 
you know, maybe one of you can tell me why or what you've used one for. I don't know. Uh, so this is from Digital Paradise 9, 99p again. Um, what does it say about it? Anything in particular? Uh, not really. MCP though. Uh, I think that's microchip, but I, I could be wrong. Um, so, oh, there you go. Let's read this here. Uh, I squared C control digital to analog converter. Um, oh, look at that. It allows you to send analog such as sine wave from a digital source. Still can't think of a reason why you'd want to, but, you know, maybe someone can tell me. And the third item, uh, this is a logic level converter from Chips Fans, and it was 99p. Oh, no, hang on a minute. I would have bought about 10 of these, probably. £2. Much better value, isn't it, if you buy in bulk? Anyway, um, Chips Fans. And I've already explained this, uh, it's really simple. Um, if you have two devices that are different voltages and you need to keep you need to keep the level uh, working, then you need to convert the voltages up and down so as not to break one of them and, you know, have too low a level that it can be, you know, that it's not detected on the other controller. Anyway, the next item is L7912CV negative voltage regulator from Woodoo, one pound nine p so a negative voltage regulator what is that we get an ordinary voltage regulator like an ms1117 or something like that where you get a voltage of say 3.3 volts and it just regulates it i think this may be the same but just for negative so if you want say minus 3.3 i think this might regulate the minus 3.3 uh, maybe uh, again, I'm not 100% sure, but um, if any of you know what it is, let me know. Uh, MC34063A, reverse voltage module positive to the negative voltage converter. Now, that's obvious as to what that is. So, it's from H-Quality Electronic, £1.67. And, uh, of course, it's obvious. You, you feed in a minus voltage and it converts it to a plus voltage. Again, off the top of my head, I can't think of a reason why you'd want to do that, an application for that, but um, there must be some application, otherwise they wouldn't make them, so anyway, that's everything for today, so thanks for watching, bye!